Very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. This game, of course, brought to you amid the glitz and glamour of the Principality of Monaco. A quite unique setting. Monaco have gone 4-3-3. How do you interpret that? Yeah, and the two white players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. And we're underway. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, I'm Eric Laporte. He's a centre-back who's one of the best in the business when it comes to, to playing out from defence. He can spark quick counter-attacks or, or put his foot on the ball and, and retain it when a breather is needed. He's a very solid defender too. And opposition forwards, they're not going to get much change out of this guy. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Back into the middle. And it's Fabregas. And here's Ben Yedda. Out to the left it goes. Defence has got rid of that. Kyle Walker. De Bruyne. Walker goes looking. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Hoists it high. Could be a chance. And the finish! Rodri. And it's played forward. Quarter of an hour played. Neither side yet able to force a breakthrough here. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Shots. It's off target and by quite a way. Well, the control on receipt was far better than the control on dispatch. Louise. Cesc Fabregas. Abragas plays it forward. Ferran Torres. A good challenge, stood up well against his man. Has a hit! Sidibe. Cesc Fabregas. And it's Sidibe. Sidibe. Nelson Martins. Sidibe. 
Cesc Fabregas. And here's Folland. That's offside. Yes, it is. Ederson gets it upfield. Oh, real danger here. Ferran Torres. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Batia Chile. Luis. Cesc Fabregas. Forward it goes. And it's Ben Yedda. Good ball, it's found its target. Sinchenko drives it forward. Lewandowski. Ruben Diaz. Throw it. And it's Bernardo Silva. Uh, some clever work on the flank. Yeah, they seem to be encouraging both fullbacks to ease inside, so we'll keep an eye on that to see if it if it all works out. City Bay. Gelson Martins. Hits one! That has certainly tested the keeper. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Ferran Torres. Bernardo Silva. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. And the first half is done. So now the team has broken through. Certainly not for the want of trying. Interesting game up to now. Still bonus. Any strong opinions on the first half? Yeah, and despite the scoreline, it's clear who the better side is when it comes to chances. If this is the trend that's going to continue, then there's only going to be one winner here, and uh, I don't think it's going to take too much improvement for it to happen. Monaco head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Neither team any further forward than they were when they started out. So we're just settling back into this second half. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Played back in. Trills what shapes to shoot! Rodri. Ederson sends that a long way. Ferran Torres going through. Has a hit! And he's there to hoof it away. Delson Martins with a good steal, well played. How about a shot? Folland. Chance! Chance! He's missed, but not by that far. Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. <laughs> well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Bernardo Silva tries to get it forward quickly. Zinchenko! Lovely feet. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Ben Yedda. Well, that's where he wants it. Laporte does well there, alert. 
Rodri. Mares. He's got away. And it's Walker. Looking to break out here. Hoists it forward. The referee's awarded a free kick. from immediate danger Rodri Ruben Diaz and here's Sterling Zinchenko Sterling is on to it and can take it up danger averted for now up to meet it Harmlessly behind. So here comes the substitution. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Rodri. Gelson Martins. Gelson Martins clips one through. Ruben Diaz can get it clear. Pretty robust, but it's got the job done. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. That's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Gets it back, and it's Ben Yedda. It's got through to him. Has a pop! Oh, nearly, nearly. Brushed off the ball there. Luis plays it forward. Oh, it's Ben Yedda. Ben Yedda. Oh, what a shot at goal! Yes, he's done it! Save the best for last! Lovely goal. Perfect poise to set himself for the strike. some movement on the bench and we are going to see a change yeah he's run himself into the ground hasn't he and it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate and the referee brings it to a close Monaco hold on it's a narrow squeak bit of luck some judgment 1-0 the score at the final whistle so a dramatic